new lesson in this lesson i am going to show you how you can align these signals using cross correlation function previously i had shown you how you can align the sensors data using align signals function of a matlab but in this lesson i'll show you how you can calculate correlation between these two signals these two signals and these two signals and then after that correlation you will find how these signals what is the lag between these signals in between to each others and then finally we can adjust that lag so the cross correlation is also a very important functions in the matlab cross correlation we use to uh, measure relation between uh, two um, uh, between two signals so for that x core functions are available as in the previous lesson we are continuing this lesson so in previous lesson we had already loaded this data and um, if you are new to this lesson please refer to first previous lesson so let's first create a cross correlation for this for this lecture so the c21 okay the cross relation cross correlation matrix in between data 2 and the 1 and then lag 21 so that is the lag between data 2 and the 1 is equal to x core that is the x core means cross correlation between s2 and s1 right and the similarly we can calculate the cross correlation between data s3 and s1 and the similarly we can calculate the cross correlation between data s3 and s2 so let's make it 3 2 lag 3 2 and c 3 2 and after this after this we need to uh, we need to normalize the correlation uh, correlation uh, you know the matrix so if you see here c21 okay c21 c31 c32 this is the cross correlation matrix so now we are going to normalize this matrix and after that we will plot this matrix so let's normalize c21 okay so here uh, let's make it c21 in a small capital c21 divided by max of capital c21 so this is normalized in the similar way we can normalize c31 okay and we will store this into c31 and in the similar way we can normalize our c32 so let's normalize this as well so our uh, we have now got our cross correlation matrix here and uh, now we are going to also you know uh, find the location of maximum value of cross correlation which will indicate the time leads or lags so for that what we can do we are going to get m21 okay so i am 21 and i21 okay so m21 and the i21 will reveal the maximum value and its indices so for that in c21 we are going to get the maximum value into the c21 and after that we are in the similar way we are going to get for c31 and here the maximum value of c31 and the indices of 31 c31 right in the similar way we will get for c32 and indices for c32 and the maximum value for c32 and after that we will get the time lag okay so the time lag t21 that means the time lag between signal 2 and the 1 that can be got by ug lag 21 okay which we had got here lag 21 and then indices right so the maximum indices that is i21 here so it will get the i2 t to one is lag okay that is minus 350 if you remember previously we had got almost the same result and the similarly here we are going to get uh, we are going to get here a 31 okay so the i31 in between lag 31 and it's a t31 if we print this data you will see it's 150 and in the similar way we are going to get a i32 and lag 32 and t32 right so now the time lag between signals are minus 350 150 and 
and 500. Now I'm going to plot this cross correlation and then I'll show you right how these are the you know the lags together. So if we plot this cross correlation so that is stored into the C1, C, C21, C31 and the C32. So let's make a combined matrix C okay so in this these are the column matrix so what we can do c21 and then we can make c31 and then c32 so this says that uh, the dimensions are not consistent so let's see the ct1 is uh, 5242 and this is 500 yes so this is not consistent so we cannot actually you know we have to subplot it as of now. So let's subplot it into 3, uh, 1 and 1 first time and now let's plot this C21 here. Okay and the similar way let's plot it into second subplot. We are going to plot here um, 3, 1. And let's plot here third subplot. In the third subplot, we are going to plot here C32. Let's type here SHG. Now you will see. Now if you compare these subplots together, you will see the time lag between this signal and sorry, between this cross correlation function and this, there is there is around uh, you know uh, that there is around 350 time lag. Okay and uh, and uh, between this and sorry these and this the time lag is around uh, 350 and this and this the time lag is 150 and the time lag between the first and the last one is 500 right so this and this one is 500 okay so now after this let me show you how you can actually you know align these signals so for this how you can align let's save this into the x1 so you can say the x1 is s1 and this minus 3 minus t uh, 2 1 to the end okay right so if you see here 3 2 1 is negative so the minus will make it positive so it will take from 350 to end right okay 350 to end that's mean it will read from 350 to end and this one of course will have to be you know the start from I think from the zero itself and this will start from around uh, 450 or 500 it will start from 500 itself right so let's start this one the second one we can read x2 from signal S2 and now we need to read it from we, we can read this X2 from uh, you know uh, from T2 actually this S2 is already aligned so we do not need to do anything so we can just take it from 1 itself and then X3 X3 can be read from S3 and then S3 is T32 okay to the end right now if we see the X1 and the X2 this must be the consistent so let's uh, you know uh, concatenate these, uh, these signals X1 then X2 and then X3 so still it is not uh, you know uh, it is not the same size but no problem uh, we can plot this using a subplot so here in this first subplot we are going to plot here x1 and into the second subplot we are going to plot here x2 and into third subplot we are going to plot here x3 then type shg now you will see here the signals are aligned perfectly as we had seen into our previous lesson so I have shown you two methods. The first method is MATLAB inbuilt align signals method and another method is 
mathematically which you can write your own code using cross correlation function so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updated directly into your inbox bye, -bye.